Greetings adventurers. We're here at Afton State Park, one of Minnesota's greatest state parks. Afton State Park is about 20 minutes east of St. Paul, Minnesota, on the border of Wisconsin. We're going to start off on the prairie loop here. Look at this. This first part is called the prairie loop. Cuts across the top prairie area. The loop I have picked out is five and a half, a little over five and a half miles. Yeah, so we're gonna get to check out most of the park. Um, it is a pretty big state park, so we won't get to see all of it, but a good chunk of it. It's about 25 degrees, 24, 25 degrees. It's supposed to be partly sunny, but this does not look like partly sunny. Looks like mostly cloudy. But that's beautiful nonetheless. All right, so here's a map. So I started at this road right here and hiked straight down, took a left or right, I guess. And now I'm right there. I'm going to be heading down here to this point, coming back up. We're going to go all the way around up the river and back over. We're about three quarters of a mile in. Almost five miles to go. Here we are folks, the overlook of Afton Alps ski area. And this is technically not part of the state park. So Afton Alps was founded or established as a state park in Minnesota in 1969. Due to overcrowding at the nearby state park, I believe to the north, William O'Brien State Park was uh, seeing a lot of overcrowding and uh, they wanted to create another state park that was within 20 minutes of the Twin Cities. So they chose Afton. And uh, it has become one of the most popular state parks in the state. Um, partly due to its close proximity to the Twin Cities. Um, when I got here, the, I was surprised. I didn't know if there was going to be many people here at all. But when I got here, uh, the parking lot was packed. And there were people everywhere. But uh, now I'm about two miles in or so. Mile and a half maybe. Uh, I haven't seen anyone for a while. Um, it is a pretty, uh, fairly large state park. So there's a lot of room, a lot of area to move around. But yeah, I just love this prairie area up here. It's gorgeous. Look at those big pines over there. Very nice. You know, I haven't really gotten any snow this year yet. 
in mid-December. These guys ain't playing around. They're making snow full blast, it looks like, over there. Alrighty, here's the beautiful overlook at the end of the loop here. Overlooking the Mississippi. Here's the deal. I got to this lookout point and it is gorgeous. And I wanted to take a picture and I can't find my phone. So I don't know what happened to it. If I left it somewhere, it fell to my pocket. I hiked about a mile back to the last place I remember using it. Um, and no sign of it anywhere. So I have no choice but to continue. I don't have my map or anything like that. Ah. The show must go on, right? Beautiful. Found the picnic area here, down at the bottom or down next to the river. I was thinking about it. At first, I think I said the Mississippi. I'm not sure if this is the Mississippi or not, to be honest. It might be a St. Croix. I don't know. I will put the correct information up on the screen. If I had my phone, I would have looked it up before I started recording. But it is a beautiful day today. Here's a little more overlook of the beach, like the very end of the beach here. It was kind of weird walking on frozen sand. Interesting feeling. But I bet this place is pretty popular in the summertime. Nice little swimming spot. They do have a swimming area and picnic tables for barbecues. They have backpacking campsites. They have regular drive up campsites. All sorts of cool amenities. This section I'm on here now, you can see, is a nice long flat grade. Um, it used to be a rail line running through here back in the 1800s. Uh, again, I lost my phone. I don't have my notes, but I believe it was something like the Peanut Express or something like that. Something with peanuts. There's proposals to expand this trail to uh, a bunch of nearby cities and making it an official bike trail. Gorgeous area though, gorgeous. There are just hundreds of geese, Canadian geese, out here resting on the water from their migration. I think there's hundreds of them. Found a nice little spot here on the uh, beach. Um, just as the trail, I'm supposed to turn in inland away from the river, so. I decided to stop here for a break. I got some queso ruffles and I got a Reese's fast break. Uh, as well as some water. 
sitting here enjoying the scenery. Um, as you know, this is the season finale of Happy Trail Backpacking. There were a lot of great, a lot of great hikes this year. Um, a couple that stand out to me were uh, Itasca. It was uh, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I couldn't have asked for better weather. Um, the fall colors were incredible. Early in the year, I hit the snowbank trail. That was great just because of the uh, personal triumph. Um, it was the fourth try. Um, after three times failing and finally making it, that was a, that was a great feeling. Um, going to the Badlands, uh, that was an uh, incredible experience. Um, hiking along the buffalo and having to navigate through the Badlands carefully. Um, had a lot of fun, and I intend to return. Um, a couple others were the Huron Mountains when I went to the High Point in Michigan. That was a lot of fun. Um, there wasn't a lot of hiking, but uh, I just had a lot of fun going to all the waterfalls in the area and looking at all the cool little sites in the whole area, um, as well as the High Point. Uh, gorgeous area and I would like to find a hiking trail in that area so I could return at some point and uh, the last one is the Ozark Trail kind of at the end of this end of this year uh, I had a great time it was a great hike and um, it was the first time I had been on the Ozark Trail and I really enjoyed it so I um, am already in process of planning a trip down there again in the springtime to do another section of the Ozark Trail. Um, some other of the high points this year, I, uh, in total, all about, not including today, I guess, um, in total I hiked 224 and a half miles, five U.S. state high points. We are up to over a hundred subscribers. I got some new theme music that I wrote and recorded myself. Some of the things that I, I regret this year, are some of the uh, kind of downsides, I guess, or regrets that I had is, uh, one is uh, canceling my uh, Cloud Peak trip with my son. Um, there were some thunderstorms rolling in. Uh, the weather was not looking in our favor. So we kind of just decided to uh, call it um, we we did some um, hikes in the area. I posted the video of us hiking at uh, Devil's Tower. And uh, we had a great time. We did other things and it was fun. But uh, I regret, uh, again, not going up to Cloud Peak. So that's twice um, going to Cloud Peak and not making it to the peak. peak. And then that brings me to Mount Albert. I was really disappointed uh, not being able to complete Mount Albert. Uh, I would like to plan a trip next year back to Colorado and give it another shot. Um, I did get some like herbal supplements that I can take that'll help you breathe at higher altitudes. Hopefully that will help out. And uh, another regret is that I just didn't have a lot of uh, multi-night trips. Um, the snowbank loop was supposed to be a three-night or two-nighter, but I ended up finishing it early. Um, the Cloud Peak that was canceled was supposed to be a few nights. The Ozark Trail is really the only uh, multi-trip video that I put out this year, and I was kind of bummed about that. Um, <sighs> Also, the uh, Mount Albert trip, um, I was supposed to do some other hikes after that, um, which would have been overnights, but um, there was a family emergency and I had to cut that trip short and head home. So um, that's that. 
but uh, all in all, um, I have some fun things already cooking for next year. I think I want to give the Solitude Loop in the Bighorn Mountains a shot. Um, that would be a seven, seven day, six night uh, trip through the mountains. Um, I've been looking at that trail for a couple years now. I think I'm going to try Mount Albert again. I would I have don't have it planned yet, but I would like to plan that for next year, as well as um, another section of the Ozark Trail, which I might be doing in March. So uh, look out for that. So thank you all for uh, coming with me and joining me on these trips. Really have a great time. I enjoy making them, and I hope you guys enjoy watching them. It is gorgeous out here. And as you see, it is starting to get kind of dark. Finish up my break and uh, get moving. I was really hoping for some spectacular sunsets tonight because they said it was supposed to be sunny, but I think this is about as close as we're going to get, folks. It sure is quiet out here. A little bit. A sad sunset right over there. Probably doesn't even come up on the camera. It's so dim. GoPros are not very good in the dark. About a mile to go. I forgot about something. This park, a big section of this park, this whole prairie area used to be a farm and they donated that land, their farm, to the state park. This was their front gate. I forgot that, they, that this was here. But yeah, so this was the farm's front gate. Um, I think the gate into the farmhouse. And then here's a shelter up here. And a little picnic area. I think this might have been where the house was. Here's some old yard ornamentation. Yeah, so a little more history for you. All right, folks. Well, doesn't look like my phone's at the trailhead. So that's a big bummer. Wah, wah. When did, way to the end of the year. Great season finale. Lose your phone on the trail. Anyway, oh, it looks like my light's dying, too. Um... Anyway, thanks everybody for coming with me, not just on this hike, but for the whole year. It's been a great adventure. Now, remember, I'm going to take the month of January off, and I will be back the very first Monday in February. I want to know which, one, which video was your favorite video this year. I'll leave that down in the comments. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on next season of Happy Trail Backpacking. Mm -hmm.